Hello EverQuest, this is Maximos TV here with a new video. I wanted to go ahead and show everyone how to set up a nice, clean, fresh, green UI using the default UI. Now, a lot of people complain about the default UI in P99 green. I'm gonna try and make it just a little bit better. So what I'm gonna do is just set up everything how I set it up on my new characters when I play the game. Um, I made a caster here so that you can see how we do it with spell gems. Very, very simple, very clean. This will get you in the game quick and get you able to see everything that you need to see uh, while not blocking any of the action uh, on P99 green. And so we have here a new fresh character, fresh green UI. And what I'm doing is just dragging my bars where I like them to be and resizing things where I need to. And let me go ahead and point out each of these so that you understand what's going on here. We have our spell gem bar. Uh, the spell gem bar is interesting because you can also hotkey if you type or if you enter alt o you can go into keys and you could drop down to spell casting each one of these spell gems for casting where you put your spells is hot keyable okay so that is something to know right off the bat uh, as far as settings uh, one thing i like to do is to use tell windows it's very convenient pops open a new window and someone tells you sends you a tell so you don't miss anything uh, here we have our uh, uh, health bar, our mana bar, and our stamina, and then we also have our target's health. So if we're targeting ourselves, we'll show up right here. I like to keep this right by the character so that it's very easy to click uh, on myself or my target and to see visually what their bars are at. Uh, this is the group window. I like to keep it also close for similar reasons, especially if you're a healer. Uh, this is the main chat. Now, what I like to do as soon as I get into the game is hit right click, go to window, go to texture. Now, you can't see anything, but go back to background and now go to tint color. And I'll go ahead and make it black tint and I'll type slash chat font size space. And then you can put any number one through five. Five, this is as big as the font goes. I think it's preferable because you can actually read it. Now, I will also right click here and hit new chat window. Right off the bat, I'd like to make a combat window. So let's go ahead and drop down to filters, go to melee, hit all, filters, spells, all. And now all of the combat will go right here. I'll rename it combat. And what I'll also do is go ahead and do the same thing, texture, tint color, and this time I'll go red. So you can play around with this however you like. I'll throw it up in the corner. I'll leave in slash chat font size four on this window just to make things a little, a little easier to see. Now also here you have your abilities page, your combat page. This is like your main action bar. Uh, none of the, these aren't automatically keyed. You can key these uh, yourself if you need to. Um, and then our socials page, this is where you're gonna make macros. So you'll go to the second page on socials, you'll right click, and maybe you'll make an assist macro, which is something pretty much everybody needs in EverQuest, slash assist. I selected the color that the button will be, boom. And now I could click it, drop it into my keyed one through six uh, hot bar. Now for the hot bar, only the first six buttons work on P99 green. No one knows why that is. It just is what it is. Um, they're not fixed. Uh, there's a rumor that they will be fixed. Who knows? But for now, you're dealing with the first six buttons. Uh, otherwise, you'll want to keep this action bar nice and close so that you can click on what you need. Um, you know, EverQuest is not a super fast-paced game. Clicking is fine uh, for getting around in the world. And as you can see, we've basically set up a pretty nice little uh, UI for us to be able to go out into the game and do what we need to do. And we can see all the information we need on our screen. This is perfectly adequate for rating, for grouping. I use this UI setup essentially on my main high level characters all the time and it's pretty pretty it's pretty clean you know pretty good uh and uh if you have any questions uh go ahead and shoot them it below in the comments and before i forget one thing that you'll want to do uh even if you're not into using a custom ui which i am not uh you will want to change your arrow in the game and the way to do that is to pop into your ui files folder 
in the P99 folder on your computer and you'll wanna go ahead and change the arrow. I'm gonna put a link in the bio below uh, so that you can download the same arrow that I have, this nice bright green arrow. Uh, the reason I do this is because it's very, very easy to lose your place in this game and to lose the arrow. And you're clicking on so many things in raids that you definitely never wanna do that. So you wanna make sure that you can always see where you're about to click, what you're about to do. Um, one last little tip, uh, when you get into the game, toggle inspect will usually be on. I have it off right now. Type slash toggle inspect space on if you wanna go ahead and re-enable that. That'll let you right click and then you can inspect people when you right click. Just if you're interested in what, what gear they're wearing, what items they have. I like to keep it off because that, that extra window is kind of annoying. Um, Anyway, that's pretty much everything. If you have any questions, play on P99 Green. Always feel free to shoot me a message in the comments below or in the game. I play as Maximus. I'm a cleric with Freya's Chariot Guild. If you're interested, let me know. I also stream over on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Thanks.